Hello, this is Sujin Sicharian from India, International Educationalist. I am here once again with a very fabulous university in the field of medicine. Again, it's from Poland. It's Medical University of Łódź. Here it is uh, with me, Alexandra, who is in the admission department, he, who is leading the admission department, and Ada from the admission department. We are going to have a talk show about the university and the facilities provided to the international students. Believe me, this is a truly multicultural campus. Hello. Hello. I'm Sujin. I'm Sujin Sitoyan from India. I'm international educationist. I have a YouTube channel which promotes the uh, top ranking universities across the world. Especially I'm traveling to the Europe in different countries and of course Poland is one of my best choice for the future education of students from different countries. I'm in uh, this education service for the past 11 years and the uh, YouTube channel is very new and I had around 8 9 episodes already with different universities. It's very, uh, very interesting for me to know about this uh, medical university of Woods. I'm already in collaboration with the University of Woods, which mm -hmm. promotes the business management and other uh, political science and other programs. <laughs> to know about this university, uh, before that I already I'm in collabor collaboration with the university in the Bitghost. Mm -hmm. uh, it's Collegium Medicum Nicolas Copernicus University. I, uh, I have students there for the, for the past seven years. And of course, I was in search of other medical university in the Poland itself. I found it's, it should be medical university of Butch. And I found the uh, details on the website that it's fabulous. Uh, the university has a lot of options and facilities for the students, both on the academic as well as the practicals. So I thought of having some good information from you, both of you. It's, it's uh, good uh, that you uh, could come to uh, Łódź, to the Medical University of Łódź and that uh, we can meet in person. Mm -hmm. I'm Alexandra from the admission office. Uh, and uh, we just finished, the, uh, oh, we are almost uh, at the finish of the admission uh, this year. And um, yeah, uh, this year our English division has a 20th anniversary of uh, um, studies in English, mm -hmm. so uh, we are very proud of it. Okay. Yeah, we have uh, already uh, over 100, uh, 1000 uh, graduates of our English division uh, all over the world, so um, that's a great number, I think. That's great. Thousand plus graduates from the medical university already, from especially English, especially in the English, English division. Yeah. English division. So, Alexandra, uh, you are uh, an important person in the admission department. So, how do you support the students once they come for the first time to the medical university of Cluj? Yes, uh, for uh, our newly accepted students, we organize an orientation program. Uh, so we welcome uh, all first year students uh, in the last week of September here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in Łódź. Uh, we organize an um, online, uh, some online presentations where uh, we introduce uh, our team where students can meet uh, the dean of, the uh, of our uh, studies in English, the director of the center, but also uh, some students from the student government, uh, students from the scientific circles, so uh, we try to give them as much information as, as possible to, to make it uh, easier for them. Uh, also, uh, there's a WhatsApp group for, for newly accepted students where our uh, senior students uh, help answer the questions about the city, about the university. Uh, then, uh, during the orientation program, uh, senior students come here to the admission office and they also uh, answer and, and meet yes uh, our first year students they can help them uh, with uh, I don't know buying a sim card yes uh, showing them the campus uh, showing them how to log in um, into the virtual university mm -hmm. and for uh, future we have even bigger plans because uh, there are some plans to organize uh, maybe a city tour around uh, which uh, maybe will have yes, some uh, more uh, activities to, to make them here uh, to make which more friendly yes and uh, 
and for uh, new students to, to make it easier, yes, this, this beginning. Uh, and also our student government is organizing additional activities, mm -hmm. so they will start, or they already started because it's going on in uh, October, so they can also then, you know, see the city and integrate and, and just meet uh, older colleagues. So there's a lot of things going on and, and we try to make it yes, as friendly and uh, welcoming as possible. Okay. Can I give a few words about the university? Yes, it's uh, the Medical University of Lodz is uh, a, a university with a long tradition. Mm -hmm. It was established in 1945. Uh, it is in English uh, language. Mm -hmm. Are uh, being like Adrian said at the beginning. They are being conducted now for 20 years. Yes, they started in 2003. Okay, so it's uh, a university that's growing all the time. Yes, new facilities for students, new, new laboratories, libraries uh, are being uh, built three uh, clinical hospitals in Łódź, but we have uh, around I don't know, 50 buildings in total and uh, we have a big clinical didactic center. Uh, I don't know, uh, they started building it I think in 1980s, but it's still expanding and uh, there are uh, big plans like for, for the future, so uh, mm -hmm. newcoming students really have uh, great places where they can study and learn. Okay. We have yeah, new also um, new, uh, new halls, yes, yes. and uh, uh, the the library center mm -hmm. uh, has been uh, renovated. The simulation center oh, also is okay, very yeah. famous. Yes, yeah, there's like a big course. one, big floor in the clinical uh, didactic center. Yes, it's where students can mm -hmm. before they meet their patients, they can practice on phantoms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are there are too much of. Uh, facilities to be explained about this. Yes, yes, because yeah. we do not have one campus in Łódź, but uh, we have many buildings uh, in the city. So I think that that's uh, that is the uh, nice I think I will take many hours to the students to explain all these things based on the website and the contents that uh, the information that uh, we have about the Medical University of Łódź. Yeah, and. Uh, uh, as part of the application that the, the students once they find interest to come and study in the Medical University of Woods. Can you please explain the application formality? So for the admission we require yeah. a high school certificate with um, two science subjects such as biology, chemistry, mathematics and physics and um, also uh, IELTS or other um, and English certificate uh, is um, from the school for, yes from their school uh, yes is um, maybe not necessary but uh, is uh, very appreciated uh, because the studies are conducted in english so mm -hmm. uh, it should be uh, at least uh, ielts at least six zero right yes mm -hmm. and um, i also require uh, such documents as passport and uh, photograph and we have an uh, online app, uh, registration system where students can create the account and upload the documents. Then they come to the... Um, once they are accepted with the academic documents, they will have to go through the uh, interview conducted by the faculty, right? Yes, the entrance exam, yes. Okay. The system is fully online, so uh, like Ada said, um, those are the, the documents, uh, the documents she mentioned. Uh, they are the documents that uh, the student uh, should upload in the system uh, once they fill in the application form. Um, and once the documents, the high school documents are accepted by the admission committee, uh, students have to sign up for the entrance exam. Entrance exam is conducted on MS Teams. So uh, it's an oral exam. Uh, students do it from home. There's no need to come here to Poland. Mm -hmm. So it's a quite uh, quick and uh, yes, uh, easy, easy system. Okay. And uh, uh, what about the accommodation once the students, they are very new to the Poland once they come here. So how can they be accommodated in the uh, Medical University of Woods? What kind of accommodation facilities are provided? We have uh, university dormitories, but only uh, double rooms, shared rooms. Um, are, uh, 
there at the moment is at the university, the dormitories, uh, but in which you can also find many uh, private dormitories which have a broad uh, offer with single rooms um, available. And uh, mostly um, first year students uh, find accommodation at our university, at the university dormitories or at the private uh, dormitories. There are around four to five? Yes, there, are, five. yes, there are a lot of new yeah. modern. Not dormitories, also there are in number, the huge four or five dormitories for the university itself, right? University, uh, yes, there we have three university dormitories yes. and also there are like five private dormitories in mm -hmm. our city uh, at the moment, so uh, it's easiest to, to get uh, accommodation. Later on, uh, usually senior students decide to move to apartments, uh, mm -hmm. to, to rent apartments in the city. Mm -hmm. And there is one important uh, uh, thing to be clarified, that the students, once they complete their high school education, especially from India and Middle East, they will be almost just 17 years old, or hardly 18 years, so many of them will not have a passport once they start application. Can they start their application with the national ID and later submit the passport before they uh, complete the admission procedure through the interview and so on? It's hard. Uh, generally, we have never had such case, I think. Uh, all students, even if they are below 18, mm -hmm. they have passports, passports. Once, uh, when they apply to, to our university. Um, Passport is we'll have to check once yeah. such kind of a case comes. Mm -hmm. okay, yes. okay. And what about the academic documents that the students, once they complete their higher secondary examination, they hardly find, okay, if, even if they get the result published, they may not get the original certificates mm -hmm. from the exam boards. Can they start with the online mark list? Yes, with this, with this, of course. We also accept uh, predicted grades and uh, later on students can send us uh, final results also like so that we can accept the uh, uh, online results yes and uh, once the, the student will arrive here in Łódź that's the moment when they will need to submit the original document with the apostille stamp but uh, we know that in many countries students have to wait uh, for their uh, final diplomas to, to be issued so uh, it's uh, it's possible just to to submit the the online result. Yes, we just have to see that the, the exams were completed and that the scores are uh, sufficient. That means that it's at least sixty five percent is from scientific subjects. I find this university and especially the admission department where you people are working with uh, is so supportive to the students. I, I personally witnessed that you su support and clarify these things for the students at your mm -hmm. office and I met the director of the admission mm -hmm. department she is also very enthusiastic and supportive for the students mm -hmm. to come and study in the medical university woods. Definitely I, I find this as an opportunity for the students from different countries and uh, especially I mentioned the students from India and the Middle East countries like United Arab Emirates or Qatar, Saudi, Bahrain and so on, Oman and so on the students can come to this beautiful university and I find there are 70 nationals in this university yes. from different countries. Mm -hmm. So it's a true multinational, multicultural yes. campus. So I always advise that my students, when, once I meet them personally, I say that if you go to an international university, you should first confirm that the faculty is good. Secondly, you should confirm that that campus is actually an international campus multicultural campus because this especially the medical education the student has to start with as a student but end as a professional doctor after six years so this six years of education especially it's a master degree long cycle education uh, it's not an undergraduate degree it's a master degree program so in the central european education system and the polish education system we call it uniform master degree or integrated master degree so this is a great opportunity for the student and the end they are going to be to start work as an assistant doctor so they shouldn't be student anymore so it should be a journey from the first year of medicine by the end of sixth year they should be from a student transformed to a professional doctor yes.
So I truly believe that this, this campus is going to help the students who are depending on this university. Thank you very much. Thank you for the time. I know that you are in the busy time. The yes. admission Students is are still coming, coming to the end. Yes, and we also uh, offer a preparatory course. Yes, an yeah. eight-month uh, course for students who want to prepare for the uh, 6MD program. Mm -hmm. So we're also now, you know, waiting and waiting for um, the, the students, uh, students who will be coming in November. So it's the admission time. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Here, but yes, it's it's very nice that uh, you could come and uh, that we could meet and uh, tell a bit about our university and the city. To, uh, it's great to, to find the new students who we were uh, mailing with uh, for uh, last few months. It's a uh, really uh, fantastic uh, feeling. So a ton of thanks to uh, Alexandra and Ada Thank you so much. for this time. Okay. <laughs> We would like to welcome you at the Medical University of Lodz. We hope that soon you will come to our beautiful city of Łódź and that you will meet, uh, that we'll meet you and that you will join our 6MD and 5DMD program. And if you want to study medicine or dentistry, there's no better choice than Łódź, so uh, don't hesitate, uh, apply and uh, start your medical career with us. So the medical education aspirant, See you soon in the Medical University of Woods, Poland. Thank you. See you. Bye.